Mike check one two one two. Come on up here. Everybody behind the mask. Good morning. How are you? It's been a while. <laughs> Thanks for joining us out here. No, thank you. That cow, I'll get yeah, the, we're going to have you kind of flex. Let's get the money in the picture. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> now, is there a mask that we do talk or take masks? Nanny, would you rather that they do masks when they're talking? Does it matter? Oh, no. I'll do whatever everybody else. I know we're all we're all learning the customs, I'll right? Almost done. I know. One more shot from me. We're almost there. <laughs> okay. okay. Morning, council member. How you doing today? Yeah, Welcome. Good, good to see you. It's good to see you. Yes. It's been a long time since I know in person, right? Yeah. So. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Mayor. How are you, sir? Good to be in your parks. Yes. Thank you for being here. I'm Absolutely. not sure where I'm supposed to stand. So you, yeah. 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 you're the park director. So you can stand yeah. anywhere yeah. you want. The, the camera guy <laughs> tell us. We're going to find her. Danny's the artist. He knows what it look, what's look, what looks good. Perfect. Okay, perfect. I love him. That's why he wants to do it. Yeah. <laughs> it's easy. Yeah. It's easy. Yeah. yeah. Shall we good? Are we good? Yeah, Urban Core, come on down. We're glad you guys are here. They're shy. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. All set? All right. Good morning, everybody. TGIF. It is great to be here in District 9. Correct me if I'm wrong. We're in District 9. I know the boundary line is close by. Uh, Mr. Elo and I are starting and ending our weeks together in Council District 9. That's a good, good thing. Uh, good morning, everybody. I'm Mayor Todd Gloria. I am pleased to be joined here with an all-star lineup of folks uh, who, like me, love our trees, and we're here to celebrate trees today. Uh, give me a moment here. I want to make sure you know uh, folks who are with us this morning. Council Member Sean Elo Rivera. We're here in District 9, his district. Uh, immediately adjacent to District 4, and our Council Member for District 4, Council Member Mont Monica Montgomery-Stepp, uh, is also with us. Uh, Kyle Kennedy with Urban Corps. Uh, 
Andy Field, our Park and Rec's director. Andy, it's great to see you as always. Uh, Lynette Short from Cal Fire, uh, our, the folks who, who made this possible. Thanks for writing that check. I appreciate it. Uh, and then Brian, Brian Weidner, uh, uh, who is, uh, well, I'm sorry, Widener, who is here. He's our city's uh, forester. Uh, he's the guy that gets looked at for our incredible tree inventory. Uh, so I'm going to make it relatively short and sweet because I'd like you to hear from our council members. Uh, but you recognize uh, that uh, we are approaching Arbor Day, uh, and we, as a city, have long held a designation of being a Tree City USA. And today's event helps to make sure that we maintain that credential, that feather in our cap that really says that we care a great deal about trees and the resulting improvements that they provide for our environment, for our neighborhood vitality, just for the beauty of our communities. Uh, I think that uh, days like this, I've, in my many years in public office, I've got to plant a number of trees. I can tell you there are a few things that bring you more pride than being able to drive by a tree you planted 10, 12, 13 years ago and see its progress and recognizing maybe a little bit of perspective about where you fit into the world, uh, given that these trees uh, last for an extremely long time, uh, but also an appreciation for the work that we're doing today how it'll pay dividends for years, decades, maybe in some cases centuries uh, from now. Uh, so I'm grateful to be a part of a city that prioritizes trees. Uh, the work of Brian and uh, Andy and their teams uh, that help maintain this beautiful inventory that we have in all corners of our city, and really a recognition that we have to do more. And I'd refer everyone to our landmark climate action plan that really calls out for a much more robust urban tree canopy uh, for its improvements and helping us to clean our air, as well as to help reduce temperatures in some of our hotter, hotter communities. Communities. Trees are a part of our past. They're absolutely a part of our future. And that's why planting a tree today is so important in anticipation of Arbor Day. With that, I want to turn it over to my friend and our council member for District 9, Council Member Elo Rivera. Sean, come on up, please. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Thank you, everyone uh, who is here today. Uh, I'm deeply grateful to have the opportunity to be in Mountain View today to celebrate Arbor Day and recognize the hard work that Urban Corps and city staff have put in to plant hundreds of trees in the communities of, of District 9 and, and District 4. Uh, there's a proverb that says that a society grows great when we plant trees whose shade we will never feel. Uh, I believe that expression should be taken both literally and figuratively. Uh, we, we see this in the fact that our trees are sanctuaries, they provide shade and cover, they're allies in the fight against climate change, and uh, for far too many people they are a luck, they are, uh, they are something that they cannot uh, feel the shade of. Uh, I we actually will take a moment to share a quick story. We had a team meeting last week and the, the, the icebreaker was about trees and memories of trees. And it was sad that for several people on our team, they did not have childhood memories of trees. That should not be the case. And with what we're doing today, we will make sure that there are more uh, young people and people throughout neighborhoods who will be able to point to trees and say that they can appreciate the cool air that they help provide, the shade that they provide, and just the overall quality of, of life that tree planting can help uh, pr uh, provide as well. Uh, we should be making sure that in, in planting these trees, we are also to, uh, with doing that with an eye toward the, the importance of trees, both literally and figuratively, as I said. Um, this is a great reminder to us, as the mayor so astutely pointed out, that our work here uh, in city government is not just a fleeting moment or one policy decision, but everything that we do has the potential of having decades of impact. Uh, and so uh, with that, I am proud to introduce my colleague, uh, a person who is planting seeds of justice, um, uh, the People's Council Member, Council Member Monica Montgomery Stepp. Uh, thank you so much, Council Member. Um, good morning, everyone. I think that the council member and the mayor really said it all. I'm grateful to be here with you this morning to witness the planting uh, of, of trees in our communities that have experienced over decades uh, structural racism that reduces our quality of life. And so this is tree by tree, block by block. Uh, we are going to uh, make this a better place for, for our San Diegans, our residents that, that live nearby. Uh, also, speaking of residents, I just want to lift up very briefly Muriel King. Uh, she's a resident of District 4 that has been doing this work uh, for decades upon decades, has worked with many, many council members uh, of District 4. And I want to uh, take the time to thank her for her sacrifice, her volunteerism, and her service to the city in that capacity. Uh, I, this quote from Dr. King really, I think, touches on um, the importance of, of tree planting, the importance of intersectionality. And I just want to read it to you all. 
um, when I think of Dr. King's role in environmental justice, he and many others in the civil rights movement continued to prove that civil rights is not a single issue approach. And as he said in his famous 1967 Christmas ser uh, sermon, all life is interrelated. We are all caught in an inescapable network of mutuality tied into a single garment of destiny. Whatever affects one directly affects all indirectly. So as we move forward and we uh, continue to talk about equity in our communities, uh, we must also be sure that we, are, that we know and that we lead with the lens knowing that we are all interrelated, um, every living thing. And, and so I wanna thank you all for the work that you're doing, all of the, the sponsors um, that the mayor mentioned and everyone that has been doing this work for a long time because it is going to take the commitment from all of us. So thank you for having me this morning and I'm, I'm very grateful that this is happening in District 9, which used to be District 4. <laughs> Thanks. Good morning. Uh, I'm delighted to be here today to celebrate Arbor Day with you guys. Uh, I'm Kyle Kennedy. I'm the CEO of Urban Corps. Urban Corps is a state certified conservation corps and charter school, and we uh, serve youth that are 18 to 26. We have a unique work learn kind of program where they can go to get a high school diploma, but we also give them paid work experience. Um, doing, we give them job skills, and we also let them do projects like this where they can give back to their community. Um, Urban Corps exists to serve the futures of some of San Diego's most marginalized young adults and remind them every day that there is hope in their amazing, in their amazing future. Uh, the City of San Diego has partnered with Urban Corps for, gosh, well over 30 years since our existence. Um, in doing projects like this, it benefits, like I said, both our community and our students. Um, and I'd like to take this moment to thank you, uh, Mayor Gloria, for whether you've been in serving the state or the local, you've always supported Urban Corps and our students, and I know they really appreciate that. So thank you very much. Um, today in celebration of Arbor Day, uh, I want to thank Cal Fire and the uh, Urban Forestry and Expansion and Improvement Grant. Um, I'm proud to introduce our crew. So we have over here Justin, who leads our crew. Uh, we see our core members here. Um, and then Nayeli, she's, uh, she coordinates all these tree plantings. Uh, We've, we're doing like about 400 in, in City of San Diego. We're doing 2,000 throughout San Diego County. And Nayeli, I don't know, you're probably on 4,000 trees that you've planted in San Diego. So I, I just want to recognize our, our great crew for all that they do. So once again, uh, thank you to the mayor, the City of San Diego, Cal Fire, and all our community partners for your ongoing support. Thank you. And I think, what you, Andy? Andy? <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Andy Field. I am the Recre Parks and Recreation Director for the City of San Diego. Welcome to Mountain View Park. As we stand here today at this site, and we're about to plant some trees in a park that could use a few more trees, as I would argue all of our parks could use more trees, this is a fabulous way to introduce Arbor Day weekend and a great way to celebrate Earth Day. Even if we are a day late, we are never a dollar short. Always important to have these trees in place and to have them bring up that opportunity so that the next time Councilman Elo Rivera has a retreat, everyone will say, yes, we know, love, and embrace trees, and we know where to find them. And that is something we've worked hard to do within the Parks and Recreation Department. I do want to share a quick shout out to the awesome Parks and Recreation Department staff that are back behind you all. They do fabulous work, and without their assistance, we would not be able to get to where we are today. And also a shout out to the Transportation and Stormwater Department, Gene Matter, Brian Widener, you guys are fabulous and have been terrific partners to help us along as we continue to plant more trees and bring quality parks out to the public. As we look at this park in front of us, this has been an area of transformation over the past 20 years. We've seen the creation of this recreation center, the construction of this playground. We will soon be bringing you a new sports court in this community. And that is part of the investment that we're going to be moving forward with to help bring quality parks and programs forward to all of our communities. So with that in closing, I just want to again thank Mayor Gloria, the council members who are here, and all of you, because it is, takes all of us to improve our urban forest. So with that, I believe I have the pleasure now to make the introduction here to Lynette Short from Cal Fire. And Lynette, thank you for all your generous contributions. So please join me in welcoming Lynette. 
Thank you, Andy. I appreciate that. Um, uh, again, my name is Lynette Short and I'm with CAL FIRE's Urban and Community Forestry Program. I believe I was invited today to talk a little bit about uh, a grant that the city received from us in order to uh, plant some trees and improve their overall urban forest. Um, although I want to point out that it's just a small piece of the puzzle in leveraging what the city has and is already doing and all their collaborators. So I really just want to commend the city for their continued efforts uh, towards their urban forest. They've made big strides in the last 10 years or so. I've been around for, for a while and I've seen a lot of uh, uh, ups and downs. It's, it's tough with uh, budgets and all the moving parts and factors that we have to deal with uh, in our urban environment. So I also want to point out that um, a big key to this is the collaboration that everybody keeps talking about. Uh, it takes uh, a number of participators to make this all work, and that's just, that goes even more towards the, the leverage in improving their, uh, their urban forest uh, uh, program and the, and the management and everything. I also want to point out, again, uh, congratulations to the city for their 11th year in receiving the Tree City USA Award by the National Arbor Day Foundation. It's just one more thing that signifies that the city is committed towards their urban forest uh, uh, program. It's a lot more than just sticking the, the trees into the ground and watering them here and there. There's a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes, uh, a lot of management, and a lot of planning. And so the city has done a really good job at this. And so uh, it's part of the reason why CAL FIRE is able to award uh, funds like that to the city because uh, we know they're committed, uh, they have followed through, they've produced, and um, it, again, it's the city of San Diego, it's all the departments within, and it's all the collaborators uh, that you see here today and some beyond that. So I just want to commend the city, the mayor's office, the city council for their continued efforts. So congratulations on behalf of the Department of Forestry and Fire Protection. Thank you, Lynette, and all sincerity, thank you for the cash, right? <laughs> this don't pay for itself, everybody. It has to come from somewhere. We're grateful to have the support of the state of California, Cal Fire, and we really appreciate you being here with us today. It's, I enjoy having your company here for this celebration. I got the last thing to do, but I just want to, you know, it's Friday. We got a beautiful weekend ahead. I want some energy out here. You heard about collaboration, collaboration, collaboration. What I, I would like to ask you all, put your hands together for our city employees, our park and rec workers, our TSW workers, our PD who's here. Give it up for our city employees who do this work. That sounds good. Give it up for our Urban Corps folks looking sharp in their uniforms. Grateful what you guys do keeping this city clean. Love it. West Coast Arbors who are here, the folks that trim those trees. You guys call our office all the time. That's who helped help us trim them. Thank you very, very much. Uh, who am I missing? Our council district staff who are here. You guys, thank you. You take the calls and the potholes, the graffiti and whatnot. You take care of business. We appreciate you. All of us working together is how we keep this city functioning. And again, uh, what we're celebrating today is collaboration, is forward progress, is really helping to create a great city that we can all be proud of. And I ask the council members, they come forward a little bit. Brian, you get to be the one that receives this, I believe. We are proclaiming it to be Arbor Day in the city of San Diego in recognition of this very special planting here in District 9. District 4 adjacent, uh, and we'd like to present that proclamation. Thank you, sir, for all that you do on behalf of the city to be you're the Lorax of the city, right? I mean, you get to look after all the trees. Thank you for what you do. We appreciate it, Brian. Happy Arbor Day, everybody. Let's go, uh, let's go plant some trees. Put that mask back on. All right, Miss Chida, you tell me where we're going to. <laughs> Looks like it. Brian, which one? Uh, the middle one. You want there. the middle one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to do full theater. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, let's see here. Here we go. I'm just going to give it. I've got you the gold. The so gold, okay. I know. Manny, you want them facing your way, don't you? Yeah. We get the two council members over here? Over here? Yes. 
Let's do it. Where yeah. do you guys want to put you to work? We're going to do all these trees together. And, and Andy and I can. Uh, Sweet. Yes. All right. I call it, Manny. All right. I see. We need to move all these staffers back if we want to get a shot. All right. You guys got a sec? I'm going to actually can I pull you guys back so we can get the camera to. Yep. All right. Manny, you call it when you're ready. Tell me if you got the shot that you need. All right. Good to go. Yeah. All right. Let's go for it, Mr. Mayor. One, two, three. Yeah, look like you're color. I'm glad the pros are here. Right. You do know what you're doing. Cactus. Cactus style. What kind of grades are we getting here? What do you think? You guys are kind of traders? Let's say you have Chinese pistachio. I think you'll turn a. Pretty colors in the It's related. <laughs> Can I cross? Yeah, but cool. Kind of creating a little tree well, right? Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Some degree oh. here. We don't have a lot of dirt for it. Hold it direct the water down into the tree. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. It's like a tree. <laughs> Brian, this looks like the. There's three of these on Marlboro. You know, I live so <laughs> close by and I have not I had a chance. I live. Like North Parka, right next oh. to the 805. Oh. Close enough they can find. Close you. enough I can see. <laughs> Z District 9. <laughs> that one's pretty good. Well, we had the help of the pro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. I like the yeah that loading. This is um uh, the stash tree too, and so it has really nice fall color. What kind of color are we talking about? We're talking like red, yellows. Okay. Can these kind of stay on a little bit longer than some of the other trees? So it's one of my favorites. We don't plant them. Yeah. You can like the new growth. Yeah, you can see kind of the red. That's what yeah. it looks like. The wood, the, the wood is kind of the charge I've been looking at the wood of this to make the tar out of it. Really? Uh, cut up 10, 15 years. We'll see what I like. Still As long as it's alive. Average lifespan of urban trees. We're going to keep that with this one. Okay. Cool thing. But we're shooting for like 20 plus yeah, 20 on our trees. We need to take money out of it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>